The City of Life are getting a visit from the Pothole Patrol. Yeah, the streets near the high school are getting a really bad grade, as well as several other busy roadways. Here's tonight's Pothole Patrol. The Pothole Patrol followed Facebook fans to the city of Lyford, and what we found was exactly what people are so fed up with. Potholes basically all over the place, like these in the middle of High School Drive and Simon Gomez Road. The intersection is riddled with holes and right smack in the middle of the mess, a large dip in the road. We brought in the pothole pumps, and the massive hole is at least four inches deep, width-wise approximately five feet. Vicky Alvarez wrote, Hey Marcy, go by the school. There was a bus one morning that had a bad flat. It was almost on its side because of the potholes. Here we are, Vicky, a block from the school in the other bumpy intersection, and we find exactly the spot you are talking about. It's at Glen Lofton Avenue and Simon Gomez Road. See a pattern here? Simon Gomez is getting a bad rap. And there's the scene of the bus mishap, now covered up with blacktop. But the rest of this portion of the street is still left untouched. Mara Lopez writes, Is there anything they can do about the county roads in Lyford? They are horrible. Here's why Mara is complaining. Most of the roads surrounding the city look like this. The entire edges of the road on both sides are spotted with holes covered with cold patch. Problem is, the material is like powder. If it is this easy to grab, imagine how easy it is for a tire to disperse it all over the road, leaving the hole exposed again. Multiply that by 20 or 30, and you get an idea of what drivers in Lyford have to deal with. The Lyford City Secretary says there are plans to repave those intersections on Simon Gomez Road either this month or in July. Now, the other roads we featured leading into the county will be maintained, but there's no immediate plan to repave, but we'll keep checking on those for you.